G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to another episode where today we're going to take a look at a brand new Teams application called Communities. Um, now, uh, it is Yammer um, and uh, with the, the, the relaunch of, of the new Yammer, um, this Teams application uh, comes under comes under that umbrella, I guess, of, of, of the new Yammer. Um, now, it's not called Yammer, but it's called Communities uh, and it's, it's, it's a Teams application that users and organizations can bring into Microsoft Teams uh, and provide uh, that experience directly from, from within Teams. And it's available from the Teams app or the Microsoft App Store inside of Teams right now. So what we're gonna take a look at now is, is how we can uh, add that to your team as an individual, um, to your team's experience, plus also as a tab inside of a channel. Uh, and in the second part, we're going to take a look and it's more focused on the admins where they can uh, uh, make this communities app available to all users in your organization or even just a subset of users and have that pinned to the rail or the team's rail automatically for that group. Now, Obviously, with uh, with more and more people uh, using Microsoft Teams for their day to day work uh, through departments or their functional areas or project teams or planning for events or, or those type of scenarios, um, there are often times where we need to communicate, uh, I guess, more broadly than that across the organisation. All right, so there might be times where we need to ask questions or share knowledge or those type of things uh, uh, more broadly. Broadly and at scale, and that's where this communities app really can play a part in uh, in providing that platform. So uh, we don't need to send those all staff emails or an email to the HR distribution group or, or things like that. We can jump into communities uh, and we can uh, have that conversation in those communities as opposed to doing that via via email. All right, so. Let's jump in now and take a look at how we can add the Communities app to Microsoft, to Microsoft Teams as a user, um, both uh, the Communities app and then also we'll add it as a channel inside of, inside of a particular team, okay? So let's jump in now and we're going to now take a look now you, you'll notice here that i'm inside uh i'm inside a team um, i'm logged in as megan and i've got my teams on the left hand side here and, and this is the rail here there's a bit going on on the left hand side now what we can do here is click these three little dots as a user and i can find an app and the app is called communities all right, so I'm going to click on communities and I'm just going to add that app to, uh, to my teams. Okay, you'll notice here that I've got read receipts and all that sort of stuff. It's a brand new Teams tenant um, that I'm logged into here. Now you'll notice on the left hand side that we've got now got an, an app called communities. All right, and in the, in the, as we enter into this, this pane here, you'll notice that I've got all my communities that I'm a member of or that I've got access to or things like that. Okay. So we've got, th uh, we've got the all company. So that's the all company Yammer feed. We've got the leadership community. Again, the Yammer group called leadership. And you can see here, it's a really nice looking UI. Uh, it's been upgraded and we can interact with uh, with this community directly from within Teams now. So we don't need to jump out to Yammer um, and uh, and do our work outside of Teams, all right? Same thing here, We've, we can look at operations um, and we can interact with our operations community uh, directly from inside Teams. We can see our members on the right um, and we can see uh, our different tabs here uh, where we can uh, do some different things, all right? So you'll notice here that we can we can share something so we can start a new post directly from within this uh, within this this tab here as well. Uh, we can do all our, our normal functionality. We can like and we can comment. Um, we can even share or share it into a private message which we'll go through uh, we'll go through in a little bit as well. So great little, uh, great app to bring uh, your Yammer communities into Microsoft Teams. Um, now let's now take a look at, um, first of all, let's take a look at how we can add this communities uh, app as a tab inside of, inside of one of your teams. 
So now let's just jump into a particular team and I'm just gonna jump into sales and marketing and I'll jump into the general channel here. Now I'm going to add a new tab and I'm gonna search again for communities. And you'll notice that the communities app um, appears uh, in the search results. So I'm just gonna pick uh, communities and I'm gonna add that community now, communities uh, app now as a tab. Now, there's a couple of options here that we can, that we can choose from. Uh, we can add a specific Yammer group or we can have uh, create a tab around a particular topic, all right? Now, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use a Yammer group, all right? So I'm just gonna put the search for the operations group here, and I'm gonna add the operations uh, uh, Yammer community as a tab here. So I'm just gonna hit save, and now what's gonna happen, I've selected this, uh, I've left that post to channel about this tab. So that's gonna automatically put a post in the in the post tab here for, for my team. And you can see here now that I've got the operations community inside of the general channel of the sales and marketing team, all right? So again, the communities app as a tab inside of a channel of your team, Great integration there where we can start to bring in and we don't need to, to, to change context of, of where we're doing our, where we're doing our work. You'll also notice here, um, that, that, uh, that app now in the rail has kind of disappeared. All right. So what we can do with this, with this communities app, um, as a user as well is we can right click this app and we can pin that now to the rail, which means that it's gonna be one of our pinned applications and it's always gonna be available on that rail for me as, as a user. If I was logged in as a different user, then that communities app wouldn't be on that rail for that user. So this is just me personally, all right? So it's a great, uh, great uh, introduction uh, and a great uh, feature and a good app to, if you are using community, Yammer communities, to bring that now into Microsoft Teams. Uh, again, Teams is bringing everything into the one place. We now have the Yammer um, integration there uh, as well. So it means we don't have to, to switch context uh, out, to, out to Yammer. All right, so I hope that brings you some value. If you are using Yammer Communities, uh, go ahead and take a look at that Communities app, add it to your team UI, um, even add it to a channel uh, as a tab inside of a particular team and start using that, uh, that new functionality. Hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.